Welcome to Monday, May the 17th. I'm Pastor Jim Krieger from Holy Cross Lutheran Church and School in Saginaw, Michigan, celebrating some of my personal favorite devotions that have been offered over these past many, many months during COVID-19. As I bring these devotions to a conclusion on May 31st, I just wanted to share some of my personal favorites that I have prepared and shared with you. The Word of God that builds and grows, strengthens and sustains. From Isaiah 40, verse 8. The grass withers, the flowers fade, but the word of our God will stand forever. In the Bible, the Lord God, who is the author of all the scriptures, often used comparisons and contrasts when teaching his divine truths. When it might appear to us that the Lord God is often repeating himself, it is because he is emphasizing the importance of his teaching, and we would do well to not only listen to his word and teachings, but to daily read, mark, learn, and inwardly digest all that he reveals to us in his word to guide and correct us during this temporary life on earth. In the first 39 chapters of the book of Isaiah, the prophet warned God's people about his coming judgment because of their many sins left unconfessed and unrepented. The prophet wanted to strenuously encourage them to turn, to repent, again to turn away from their sins, turn back to God. Listen to him and live according to his words. Many people, however, in the nation of Judah soon faced many years of captivity in Babylon as well as exile from their homeland as God allowed, once again, a foreign nation to conquer his people to lead them to lives of confession and repentance. Through the prophet Isaiah, the Lord God used the imagery of withering grass and fading flowers to illustrate the transient nature and frailty of our own human lives by comparing our temporary existence and frailty with the permanence and stability of God himself and his eternal word. Once more, the words he spoke through the prophet Isaiah, the grass withers, the flowers fade, but the word of our God stands forever. We can understand this imagery and comparison, especially during this springtime of year when there are so many forms of plant life on the earth that are new again and filled with bright color and life. And yet, we are also all too familiar with the inevitable life cycle of plants and trees the lawns and the flowers that we care for every day. Under the scorching heat of the summer sun, and even during times of drought, the grass withers, and eventually the bright colors of spring that we see in the flowers begin to fade away. Human life is properly likened to both the grass of the field, which dries up in the noonday sun, and the short-lived flowers as the petals fade and wither and fall to the ground. The obvious comparison of the temporary condition of grass and flowers and our own human lives is contrasted with the permanence and unfading nature of the everlasting Word of God, which stands forever. The Word of God not only refers to the scriptures which are God-breathed, meaning inspired and given by God himself, but the Word of God is also the living Word, as we learn in John 1, the second person of the Trinity, the Son of God, our Lord Jesus, the incarnate Word of the Father, his Savior sent for sinners. Jesus is the only unchanging part of our daily lives in this world and universe and in the eternity that is yet to come. While our temporary life on earth is like grass that withers and flowers that fade, and while we still have breath and life and we have movement according to the Spirit, let us be encouraged and encourage one another to daily read, mark, 
learn, and inwardly digest all that our Heavenly Father has to teach us through his word for each and every day, so that we may be moved to share that life-giving, life-sustaining teaching with everyone as we share in the Spirit's great commission and grow the kingdom of believers on earth. Let us pray. Loving Father, thank you for your written word, the living word, Christ Jesus, your Son, our Savior from sin. Thank you for your truths that are found on every page of the Bible, truths revealed by your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father, for your grace and mercy for all sinners. Since we are but grass that withers and we are flowers that fade in the heat and temptation of our sinful nature, help us all to read and study your word more eagerly in order to better understand your teachings and give unending thanks and praise to you for your Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus, through whom every believer's name is recorded in your book of life. Hear us now as we pray together the prayer Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor. And in the name of our risen, ascended Lord Jesus Christ, give you peace. Christ is risen. Christ has ascended. We give all glory to him alone. Amen. <laughs>